anguish in Gaza after an apparent Israeli airstrike at the Jabalaya refugee camp, one of the most densely populated areas in the Strip. Footage from the scene shows dozens of people digging through the rubble to reach trapped people after several buildings were leveled. The Hamas-run Gaza Interior Ministry claims Israeli aircraft dropped six bombs on the residential area. The Israeli military took responsibility for the bombing, saying the strike killed a Hamas official who the IDF claims was one of the leaders of the October 7th attack. Amid the shelling and airstrikes, Israel is also pressing deeper into Gaza with tanks and soldiers. The Israeli military releasing new video of its forces using bulldozers to clear paths and ground troops taking up positions and patrolling. Commanders delivering radio messages to forces. <laughs> Telling the units in Hebrew that there is no other outcome other than victory. <laughs> and in Israel, funerals continue for some of the 1,400 plus killed during the deadly Hamas assault on October 7th, according to Israeli authorities. The identification process is still ongoing to allow families to know the fate of their missing loved ones. Meanwhile, Egypt's prime minister paid a visit to the Rafah border crossing between his country and Gaza. The prime minister says Egypt is working at all levels to solve the humanitarian crisis. The White House says 66 aid trucks crossed into Rafa over the last 24 hours, the highest number so far. People in Gaza don't have enough. They're in a, in a terrible situation right now. President Biden has received a commitment from Israel to increase the number of aid trucks crossing into Gaza each day. The White House says it wants to see at least 100 trucks crossing daily. Israel says the trucks will be checked before entry. Inez de la Quatera, ABC News, Jerusalem.